Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to look at uh, chapter 2, the Castle and Burger chapter 2 and problem 1, right? So, in each of the following, find PDF of y. So, first we have to find the probability density function of y. Then we have to show that the PDF integrates to 1. They have given us the relationship between the variables y and x. Then they have given us the probability density function of x. And yeah, and they, they are saying x is between 0 and 1. So to do that, I'm going to use theorem 2.1.5. Okay. Uh, PDF of uh, of x, it's given. We know this relationship and we have to find g inverse y. Then we can simply apply this formula. Okay. Right. First, <clears throat> now, first y is equal to uh, g of x this is equal to uh, x cube right but I need to find what is g inverse y okay so I need to find what is g inverse y so let me substitute g inverse y g g inverse y this is equal to g inverse y cube okay when you take g g inverse y this inverse and like uh, this function it cancelled out so you are left with y y is equal to g inverse y cube so this gives you g inverse y inverse function is equal to y to the power one third okay right so we are done with that next so this was like the only unknown thing right so now to find probability density function of y I'm going to do f by y. This is equal to using this formula fx g inverse y fx g inverse y g inverse y is y to the power 1 over 3 multiplied by then this is absolute value. You would take the derivative of d over dy of g inverse y, okay, g inverse y which is y to the power 1 third, okay, right. So now this becomes uh, fyy fyy becomes fx y to the power 3 so instead of in ff if in fxx in fxx instead of x now we are going to substitute fx y to the power 1 over 3 that means in every place when there is an x you are going to substitute y to the power 1 third so this becomes 42 x to the power 5 x to the power 5 becomes y to the x becomes y to the power 1 over 3 whole thing to the power 5 right multiplied by 1 minus x this replaced by again y to the power 1 over 3 okay All right then we have to take the derivative of d over dy uh, y to the power 1 third so this becomes 1 over 3 y to the power 1 over 3 minus 1 right so this is 42 y to the power 5 over 3 1 minus y to the power 1 over 3 multiplied by 1 over 3 and 1, one third minus 1 this becomes negative 2 over 3 okay so this becomes 42 divided by 3 42 divided by 3 y to the power 5 over 3 you can add these two powers okay right so this becomes negative 2 over 3 and this is 1 minus y to the power 1 over 3 so this is 42 divided by 3 it is I think it is 14 42 divided by 3 it is 14 14 5 over 3 5 minus 2 it is 3 3 divided by 3 it is 1 so this is just y all right then it is 1 minus y to the power 1 over 3 right then we know one more thing we have to find the range of x y as well okay now <clears throat> to find the like in this video i'll be only doing problem one because it takes some time to do a single question right okay one thing we know is x is between 1 and 0 Right, but you need to find the range of y as well. So 
y would be x cube right so we need to x cube this is 1 to the power 3 and 0 to the power 3 so that means this gives you y is between 1 and 0 as well okay so this is finally probability density function is f y y this is equal to 14 y 1 minus y to the power y to the power 1 third okay and here y is between 1 and 0 okay got it right next <clears throat> we have to integrate and see whether this integrates to 1 because to be a valid probability density function if you integrate throughout the range it should be 1 that means area under the curve should be 1 we'll check that condition so this is for all y f y y for all y means for the whole range of y now the whole range of y is between 0 and 1 0 and 1 14 i'll bring this y inside so it is easy for me to integrate so this is y minus y to the power one third when i multiply it inside like there would be one plus one term here and dy okay <clears throat> so this becomes 14 integrated between 0 and 1 this is y minus this is 4 over 3 and dy okay right next now we will finish the integration 14 this becomes 1 plus 1 2 y squared over 2 okay minus this becomes y to the power 4 over 3 plus 1 divided by 4 over 3 plus 1 right and you would take this integration between you would evaluate it between 0 and 1 <clears throat> now 14 when, when you substitute 1 1 over 2 it becomes half minus this is 1 to the power this becomes 1 to the power 4 over 3 plus 1 it is again 1 so this is 1 then uh, 4 over 3 plus 1 it becomes 7 over 3 okay right then let's see what happens when you substitute 0 so this becomes 0 over 2 it is 0 right then this becomes 0 over 4 over 3 plus 1 again it is 0 okay right so finally you end up with 14 1 over 2 minus when you take the reciprocal this becomes 3 over 7 right I'll take 14 as the common denominator so this becomes 14 2 into 7 it becomes 14 so 1 into 7 minus 7 into it becomes 14 so you have to multiply 3 by 2 which is 6 so this becomes 14 into 1 over 14 which is 1 so we saw that PDF of y integrates to 1 as well I'll be making another video for part B okay